Do you want to play Tambuzi? Yeah? Okay, let's go. First, let's learn the goal of the game. The winner is the player who can do the best rain dance and avoid being struck by lightning during the dance. Gather two precious water drops and you win the game. Setup goes like this. Place the game board in the middle of the table and add in the huts. Now switch on the bongo buzzer and decide what sound mode you want to play with. Savannah mode with funny animal calls, bongo mode with rhythmic drums, or silent mode. Place the bongo buzzer on the game board. Place the point tiles and water drops in piles near the board. Each player then receives two animals. If there are less than four players, please check how to set up in the printed instructions. Were you the last person to dance in the rain? Then you go first by placing one of your animals in front of the monkey next to the game board. The other animals are placed on the board in a clockwise direction on the doormats in front of each hut. Here are the rules for the rain dance. Before starting the rain dance, make sure that everyone is familiar with the bongo buzzer rules. If the paw print lights up, count the number of paws and move your animal the corresponding number of huts in a clockwise direction. Each hut is one step. Now look at the hut. Is there an animal on the doormat where you stopped? If so, swap places with this animal. Now the player whose animal is off the board has to press the bongo buzzer. When you stop, there might be an animal already inside the hut. If so, this hut is occupied and you have to press the bongo buzzer again. If the hut symbol lights up, you may place your animal in the hut you are in front of. If there's another animal on the doormat or in the hut, this animal is moved off the game board and that animal's player presses the bongo buzzer next and continues the rain dance. Now let's play. The player whose animal is next to the game board calls out, on your bongos, get ready, get set, go, then presses the bongo buzzer and starts the rain dance. Play continues until there is a lightning strike. This ends the round. The animal that is next to the game board is struck by lightning and is removed from the game until the next rain dance. This animal's player receives the point tile with the lowest value. After each lightning strike, turn over any one hut on the game board. The animal on this hut is placed in front of the monkey and all other animals are moved to the doormats. The next round begins with the player whose animal is in front of the monkey. Play continues like this until the rain dance ends. The rain dance ends when only three animals are left and all point tiles have been given out. Here's how to score. Every player adds up their point tiles. For any animal still on the game board, you receive the number of points shown on the hut where your animal currently resides. The player with the most points at the end of a rain dance receives one water drop. Then a new rain dance begins, setting up the board just as we did at the beginning. Game end. The game is over when one player earns a second water drop, thus winning the game. Tambuzi is a game for two to four players, ages six and up, and lasts about 10 minutes. Have fun dancing!